All right, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to uh, another episode from IUTIA. Anyway, today I came up, I was gonna go see a palace and the GPS took me on a roundabout way and <clears throat> I never could find it. So I decided to stop at an active temple. We're here at Wat Suwandararam. And I'm not sure really how to say that. But anyway, this is a temple that was built by the father of King Rama I. And he's the first uh, king of the current dynasty. And it's at Rama 10 right now. So anyway, this temple was originally called Wat Tong or Golden Temple. And it was built by the father of Rama I. And uh, <clears throat> Rama I and his uh, younger brother renovated this temple in 1785. And they changed the name from Wat Tong to uh, Wat Suwanadararam. And anyway, I, I know I can't say that. I'll, I'll put the uh, name of the temple on the uh, video. Anyway, we're gonna go inside. The main thing with this temple is it has some uh, murals depicting the life of the Buddha. And uh, they were originally started in, I believe like 1789. And then they were restored under the king of uh, Rama IV in uh, like 1850. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna check it out and let's see what we see. So this is an active temple. It's not uh, like a lot of the ruins that you see around Ayutthaya. And it's in really good shape. Now it's actually on the island of Ayutthaya itself. So it's just a few, like maybe a couple kilometers away from the historical park where you see all the main ruins. So it has a couple prayer halls. It has this one and it has this one over here. Wow, it's quite beautiful too with the gold around the windows and the red and the green roof tiles. And you can see how it resembles the other, uh, like the old ruins. It definitely uh, looks like a boat, the same as you see a lot of those. It's a boat in the middle and then you have a brilliant white jetty. And these are, uh, these are very nice. So this building here, they say, was probably constructed during the reign of Rama IV. And uh, it is to resemble a Chinese junk, one of the boats, and that's why it's bowed in the middle, as you can see there. And there's supposed to be like a royal seal above the door, and I don't know what I'm looking for. And you see the marker stones around this one. Now this is a Bodai tree. They brought a uh, shoot from India. So they have it growing here. And the Bodai tree is important to Buddhism. That's where uh, Buddha was praying underneath the, uh, the Bodai tree and that's where he got enlightenment. And then you see the bell tower over here. Yeah, these temple grounds are immaculate. This is a really nice temple. So they call this Ho Ra Kang or the Belfry. It was influenced by Western architecture and it's uh, made of bricks with a superimposing square plan with the arch doors. And they think it was built uh, during the reign of King Rama IV also. You got the temple dog under there. Okay, so here's the uh, smaller of the buildings. This one has a Buddha that's inside. It's two meters tall and then it's a meter and a half across from its lap. And this is where uh, some of the murals are at. So you have uh, all the scenes of uh, Buddha's life. And these were uh, originally started in like 1789, I believe, and then it was, were restored in 1850. So 170 years ago, they were restored and they still look fantastic. You can see this is behind the Buddha here. 
So all the, uh, all the murals on the back wall also. And this is how tall it is, it's quite large. And then some of the other Buddhas that are around it. Yeah, this is really, really beautiful. Okay, so here is the uh, principal stupa. And it's supposed to be emulating the Ayutthaya style. This one was built under the reign of King Rama IV. It's quite nice. I don't know if you can get up on that uh, platform. Let's look around over there. So it looks like there's a total of 10 little jetties around it. There's uh, four on two of the sides, and then there's these two extra over here by the steps. I don't know what the uh, 10 represents, but here is a set of stairs so we can go up and look. You can see from up here. So here's some of the little jetties. There's the gate, and then there's another jetty on the other side of that building. And then here's these four along here. And then here's the, uh, the stupa. It is colossal. I don't know how tall it is. It's like 40 meters or so, I would say, up to the top. And then here's this building. It has the Erewhon elephant right there at the front of the building. And we'll go in here next. So it has these two doors. You can go in, you see the marble floor. And then here's another gate to come and go out of the temple. And then you can look off into Ayatia itself. And it's just on the island, it's just kind of, it's kind of on the southern end. You're a little ways away from uh, one of the rivers. Okay, so here's inside of that other little building. And you can see all the murals. So this is the uh, depiction of the uh, the elephant battle, I believe with King Nasirwan the Great. And then they have the, uh, the lower battle also. And then, so they has the two different rows. So it has the upper and the lower rows. And then you can see the uh, the Buddha image in here. Oh, these are really nice. Stuff like this, it's too bad. You can't really appreciate it on the camera. Do my best though so you can see it. And you can see the doors with the little guardians. And that's all painted into the wood. So these were restored in 1850. And they do have a little bit of data about like which section these are. Like this is the fourth section here. And it's uh, from a battle in uh, 1578. And here's the third section. Talking about uh, Prince Nessawan when he was uh, moving some troops and he captured the city, Pra Chao Fa Nui, or something like that. So this would be important for the ties. And King Nasawan was known as like the warrior king. This is uh, depicting uh, King Nessawan when he was 13.
All right, guys, so that finishes up our uh, little tour of this temple. This is quite brilliant. It's uh, it's nice. I really enjoyed the uh, murals and looking at the uh, scenes of the battles and stuff like that from uh, King Nasawan, talking about just the continuous fighting with him and Burma and Cambodia. And uh, the history of this region is so interesting. So anyway, and then the, the, they had one in there that was showing whenever uh, in 1604, when uh, the Burmese were attacking, he uh, rallied up the troops with his brother and he went to go fight him. And then he uh, got sick with the disease and then he died. So uh, I don't know, he was uh, not a good way for a warrior king to go, but I mean, everybody has to go some way. Anyway, guys, if you, uh, if you liked the video, make sure you click like and uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. If you're not already uh, doing that, I would appreciate it. And uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you like this temple, you know, let me know. If you want me to go do something different, tell me also, and I'll do my best. Just leave me a comment down below. And as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy. <laughs>